Hello again, everyone. We are Gaming by Gaslight, and welcome back, as I adjust my microphone here, which I should have done before I hit the record button. Welcome back to our Star Wars Lovecraft crossover in RimWorld. When we last left off, we were just about to fight the Galactic Empire, who, uh... No, not the Cophonian. That Cophonian's gonna die. Why were you even out here when there's plenty of good food to eat inside? Excuse me. That poor Cophonian. Anyway, at least it's distracting some of them. The, the important thing is that, you know, we've got these guys. There's like a whole bunch of, uh, a whole bunch of people who are in relationships with our colonists here. So you just know everyone's going to be miserable for like the next 10,000 years after this. The poor Cophonian. Run, little Cophonian. Run! It, it's not going to make it. And uh, what is the rice doing? Oh, you're delivering that to its delivery station. Good. But uh, you don't need to do that. I'm gonna get you to... Oh, I don't have the materials to make the double-sided lightsaber? Oh, right, because we have to... Uh, we have to make... Yeah, prioritize refining one of those... Uh, those lightsaberies. Uh, another blue crystal. Uh, let's see, Sorn was our... Yeah, you're our stabberizer. I want you to go ahead and equip this vibroblade. Also, I thought I heard something from uh, at the end of the last episode, and I thought it was Ace. But then I turned around, and it turned out Ace was actually right behind me all along. But then just now, I heard another sound, sounding even closer. And now I'm getting paranoid that I'm not alone in my own, my own, uh, my own place here. You have an alcohol tolerance, that's good. 19 hours until you- Oh, the poor, the poor Cophonian. Anyway, so yeah, basically, I'm kind of kind of getting a little nervous here. But if this episode goes live, then you know nothing nothing went wrong. So that's good. Okay, you lost your head. You're alive. You're dead. All right. You are really running. But yeah, it looks like turns out this this did solve the problem. All right. This is uh Man, these guys are really trying to get close, aren't they? Like, they do realize I'm right here, right? So basically, we have just baited the AI into being, like, dumb as a, a sack of bricks. Like, good, good enough for me. So, are you guys, like, never giving up? Are you never gonna give me up, let me down, or run around, desert me? Wait, is that everyone? Is, like, the Galactic Empire just not retreat or something? Or did their AI get so, uh, so far up their own posterior that they didn't realize what was going on here? All right, so let's, let's unrecruit everyone. Uh, except Margoa. I'm going to re-recruit Margoa and tell you to do a force heal on our Cophonian here. And, you know, hopefully rescue it. Okay, this is a mess, first of all. Uh, who's who's not dead? Let let's see. We have Smelly, and we're just gonna recruit. We're gonna recruit everyone or capture everyone. Capture Smelly, uh, capture Mal, capture. Uh, who's not dead here? Capture uh, Sammy here, and Storch. Uh, uh, Storch, capture Sammy. Where was Storch? There's Storch. Um, anyone else still alive here? Wow, a lot of prisoners. Really makes me kind of. Uh... Oh, someone had a lightsaber crystal right here. Oh, and capture a Sinfaria. All right, so I think that's everyone who didn't die, possibly. I and mean, we might as well rescue everyone, right? Seems uh, seems only fair. You know, whatever. Wait a minute. Merc, you're alive! Uh, Adea, you're not doing anything, right? You're cooking a fine meal, you're capturing someone, uh, you're carrying a dead pilot. Capture Merc. Merc is, uh... Really? We, we captured so many people that we don't even have enough beds to hold them all? Alright. Let's, uh... Guess we're gonna have to expand the prison, aren't we? But we totally gotta... We totally gotta get Merc, right? Like, we, we can't, uh, we can't leave Merc. Merc! Oh, and whoa. 
Woe is alive. Uh, where, where's Merc? Merc. I saw you in here. Oh, there you are, Merc. All right, let's see. Who's not doing anything? You're repairing a door. Uh, let's see. Capture Woe. Who is Woe? A teenage girl. Man, the Empire is diabolical. Psychically dull, neurotic. All right, Margoa, you are going to heal. This is going to require a lot of resources to keep these people alive, isn't it? Okay, um, did that... I don't think that did anything. So, uh, rescue the Cathonian, please. Oh, it's... Wait, wait. Oh, yay! Our, our force healing uh, did work, apparently, after all. Uh, we do have some minor sanity loss, though. That's okay. Oh, and I should uh, unrestrict everyone. Make sure we actually haul people... Stuff. Inst oh, good! You're gonna consume a human corpse. You were starving, so that should that should help you out. All right, man, we got all kinds of loot here today, didn't we? Pretty nice. Pretty nice indeed. Well, that that worked out nicely for us, didn't it? Uh, we are allowing human corpses to be stored in the freezer, right? A lot of bones in here. Oh good, we are actually chucking the bodies in here, so I'm, I'm hopeful our Cathonians will start eating those and doing stuff with them. Alright, so we have all of these prisoners now, so let, let's have a look. I mean, you're a wimp, you're jealous, let's see, a less impressive bedroom than someone else, if anyone has a more impressive, you're incapable of intellectual or cleaning. Alright, you're going to be a sacrifice probably. Uh, intellectual or crafting. So you can just be a hauler, I guess. You are lazy. You don't like men. You don't like mechanical body parts. Melt it out. I melt it out. I melt it... Oh, my. What gun are we using that's causing these wounds? Well, I've got... You know what? Uh, I'm gonna... I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna let you go. You know what, I'm just gonna release the ones that I don't want. Should have just left them to die, but uh, I mean we're uh, we're slowly. I mean, because you can't clean, but then again, that doesn't mean you can't haul. So uh, suppose we could. Oh, that this is an interesting story. As a child, you were addicted to joy wires, but when you grew up, oh, and they actually really tie together. After recovering from a joy wire addiction, you became a non-violent way of life vowed to help others. Well, isn't that a sweet and touching story? Uh, you are very neurotic and have a chemical interest. You are really good at shooting stuff, though. And... Not too much else, so you'll primarily be like a cleaner hauler. I, I think. Uh, yeah, we'll try to recruit you. You're probably worth it. We could always use more haulers. Uh, let's see here. You are... What do we have? What do we know about you? You're a prude. Let's see. You won't do cleaning, plant work, animals. So what are you? Well, you're a good crafter, so we could always use more crafters. All right. That's good. And uh, you right here. Also, I probably should have checked. What's your health? You're okay. You have a bite scar for some reason. I mean, you're a prude. Let's see. Extremely unhappy when naked, more displeased in tattered or worn clothing, and dislikes the sight of everyone. Okay, so she's not gonna like being around Jax. Wait, Mal was our force user, right? Oh, that was Merc. Merc was the force user. And let's see, what about you? You're pretty good at socializing. You were a recruiter. You can't care or fight fires. You are a psychopath pyromaniac. I, I just, I, I just, I just can't. Just gonna straight up execute you. And we have 20 hours to do it. Hey, you're, you're very smelly, smelly. And uh, where's Joss? What's Joss doing? Uh, before you do any of that, could you uh, prioritize tending the people who need tending? 
Like, we captured all these people, and yet most of them were just going to check away. That's the gaming by gaslight code, man. Now, where'd that, uh... Where'd Kefonian number two go? Kefonian number... Or, Kefonian larva one. Okay, you are eating corpses. Hey. Chinchilla. Who gave you permission to... to wander into my colony? I didn't give you permission to do that. And woe. Alright, how is woe doing? Woe... Woe is me. Psychically dull and neurotic. You are good at shooting, though, so we'll, we'll, we'll take you. You can haul and clean stuff the rest of the time. You're a force user, so you get a, you get to come in just because. You know, more force users, the better. You are a, a... <laughs> I read that as a gay nudist. Oh, Gaslight. That's probably totally not some kind of Freudian slip there. Right? Right? Seriously, though. Ah, oh, boy. Boy, oh boy. Sas Wait a minute, Sasuke, aren't you, uh... No, you are not a doctor. Never mind. Alright. Yeah, take care of these people and then, you know, move on. What are you doing? Oh, good. Wow. We, we killed Smelly pretty quickly. We should have taken off uh, his, her. I didn't even pay attention to what gender Smelly was. I'm just gonna say he arbitrarily. Man, look at all this dirt. Excuse me. We need, uh, we need to get rid of uh, some of these people. Uh, Blair? Hmm. Well, things are going. Going reasonably well. So there is an it is there. Let's see, when set in a lightsaber, a damned crystal produces a very slightly wider beam, making it easier to deflect ranged weapon fire. It is said that the Sif once favored these. A damned crystal. My question now is, can I, uh, can I synthesize these better crystals myself, or... Doesn't look like it. All right, so what are we missing, anyway, to make this extra lightsaber? Uh, let's see here. Lightsaber casing, internal components, and also... Ah, lightsaber internals, and that requires plasteel. Which I don't think we have. Yeah, okay, so we need more plasteel. Where do I get plasteel? Oh! Well, you're almost hiding from me, Mr. Statue. It's poor, so we'll get rid of it. Trouble. On this sculpture is an artwork of a Fletcher surrounded by dancers. If you squint your eyes, the very static composition of the image reveals the outline of a lemur. And almost every shape in the image seems to be very dynamic. Alright. A caravan request. Rice. Uh, no thank you. Again, we're probably not going to do too many caravanning type things that require us to leave the colony mostly just because I don't want to... I don't want to risk uh, causing too many bugs. Here's a thought. I can't recall. Do mechanoids give plasteel when you break them down? I know the ships do, as I recall, but I don't think... Mechanoids by themselves do. Hmm. Uh, also, who is our best smith? That would be Talia. So, where, where's Talia? Talia, 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 Talia. There you are, Talia. You're sleeping right now. I'm going to wake you up to uh, prioritize assembling. That's uh, to break down mechanoids, right? Yeah. There's the good stuff. There's not a way to make plasteel and vanilla, is there? I know you can mine it. But we're gonna have to work on that. Got some major break risks going on here, man. What's, uh, what's your, uh, major malfunction? Justified execution- oh. That still pisses people off, does it? Uh, it's probably that anxiety. That's what's got you down. Though, your mood will go up once, uh... And Joss can self-medicate himself, because he's a doctor. So... That'll be good. Wait, Joss is a he, right? Okay. I would not 
I would not put it past my- Aha! It does produce plasteel. I would not put it past myself to have, you know, made that mistake. Okay, Tali, I know you're a cook and all. And actually, we are kind of behind on meals, so... That's a bit of a problem, I should think. I'm gonna switch this to critical. I thought I did this, but apparently I didn't. But yeah, let's, uh... Let's prioritize taking care of these mechanoids. Before we do anything else. Get that steel we so desperately need to make our lightsaber parts. Because that's good. Alright, all our survivors and stuff, they're, uh... Someone should really clean this bedroom. Uh, it also occurs to me, I'm gonna actually need to make another bed. So, uh, let's, uh... Let's just fill up all the bedrooms. And we'll... Yeah, make sure everything is, you know, nicely, nicely taken care of there, so we have some nice beds when people come a-callin'. And come a-callin', they will, so we do need to make sure that's all taken care of. It also occurs to me I've been kind of setting these up wrong. There we go, there we go, there we go, and again cancel this. We don't want it right against the wall. Not that that really matters anymore, like in, in this day and age. Our colonists are smart enough to understand that just because you're not in the middle of the room doesn't mean that you have less room somehow, but uh, yeah. Alright, both of our uh, Euphonian won. Okay, someone... Uh... Okay, good, Jax is actually rescuing, rescuing our, our beloved baby there. That probably weigh. How much do these things even weigh? I want to know, like, how much weight Jax is capable of lifting here. Uh, toxicity, filth rate, carrying capacity, body size, 0. 0.6. Oh, mass. There we are. 150 kilos. And Jax himself is only 79 kilos, so. Damn. Jax is buff. Imagine this picture of this, like, hulking, muscular, naked man carrying a giant, uh, you know. Well, it's a worm, so you know what shape it looks like. You know what I'm talking about. Though you probably don't want to. Oh, goody, we have improved our relation with the Empire a little bit. Oh, and we tamed a Boomalope. Named him Boomalope number four. And, uh, Puddles can go back to being unrestricted. And, uh, where did all those dark young go? Alright, there's... There, four. Okay, so four, five, six. We got all these mechanoids that we need to get rid of down here. Um... Alright, who are the crafters then, I guess? Eventually, someone's gotta come down here and take care of this. And I do need to... I need to kill those dark young again. That would be... Very, 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 very important. This, uh, has not been taken care of yet. But it will be. Eventually, probably. I should probably just prioritize having, you know what, yeah, someone prioritize hauling, uh... Oh, Yato is taking care of that. Good job, Yato. Haul all that medicine. Yato. Oh, there you are. Wait, weren't you, uh, gonna haul the medicine? I mean, I like that you're resetting this, but could we, uh... Yeah, let's haul all the medicine inside first. Before we do anything else. Because I think that might be kind of important, to be honest with you. I suppose all this... The poor quality guns, I should just, like, break down for scraps, shouldn't I? That would... That would save us... Or get us a bit more material. Um, let's see... No, that's not it. It's all here, so... We also want you to... Now, what does destroy weapon do compared to smelt? Eat to destroy unwalted weapons faster than smelting, but... Y okay, so it yields no resources, so we don't want that. We want... 
smelt weapons. So basically, any kind of weapon, as long as it is poor quality, any hit points. All right, and uh, do that. Do that forever. I guess we'll bump that up a little bit as well. I don't know if that'll get us any more material, but should should help with things mostly, probably, maybe. And poor little baby Kafonian. Lost free of his tentacles and a nostril. It's just not right, man. It's just not right. Those imperialists. Imperialist pigs. Why couldn't they leave our poor... Our poor baby Kafonian alone? Didn't do anything to anyone, man. Didn't even have a chance. Uh, Jax, what are you doing? We're cutting the grass, are you? How about you haul the corn in first? I heard something that sounded like a cat being murdered slowly. Oh, maybe it's this. Is it the crazy boar that is... Why are all the animals insane? Is it because of this hole? Like, should I just destroy the hole? Probably. I should also kill all of these dark young. That's another, another thing we should do. Very important that we do that, but let's, uh, let's make sure we get everything hauled in first and secure and good and stuff. I'm also still paranoid from earlier about, you know, hearing stuff moving around in my own, in my own home, my own place of residence. Probably nothing. Not like I live totally alone in this building, so, you know. But still, I'm a paranoid man, see? I hear noises that I can't immediately identify and I get all weirded out, see? I just... Just not right in the head, see? Anyway, so that's the gaming by Gaslight story for you. Ooh, carpet making. That's always fun. Alright, so... Ah, sweet! Devil Strand. That's awesome as well. Onion is no longer incapable of walking, so he can, you know, move around. There were corpses in here, right? Let's put this down to important, and this will be critical. I uh, don't allow rotten, though. I feel like we should drag out some of these uh, these skeletons here. But yeah, uh, we'll keep we'll keep the bodies cold for our Kafonians, and uh, you know, life will. Life will be good. Meanwhile, we're making some more beds. These guys will eventually learn to love one another. Oh, goody! We can actually uh, produce the lightsaber. Or at least the components for the lightsaber. Excellent. Yeah. Excuse me. Alright. Good. Good. I am... I am pleased. I am pleased to see this. We'll finally get Margoa a sweet, double-ended lightsaber. It'll be, you know, very, very awesome and badass and stuff. Alright, we've invented clothing. That's cool. Clothing's cool. I do enjoy clothing as much as the next guy. But, uh... Yeah, so I think this is where we're gonna wrap things up. I'm gonna go check out the noises I think I've been hearing, so that I stop being all weird and paranoid and whatnot. And then that in mind i will say until then thank you all for watching i hope you all enjoyed don't forget to hit that like button or maybe leave me a comment down below to let me know what you're thinking and i will see all you in the next video